Welcome to the Flying Circus of Physics. I'm Gerald Walker, a professor at Cleveland State University. And today I'm going to show you a little coffee cup acoustics, except I got a much bigger container here. I'm going to tap a spoon on the inside in the water, hot water in there, and you hear a particular frequency. I'm obviously sending out sound waves, and some of those sound waves will reinforce each other, and that's the frequency that you can hear. That frequency depends on part on the speed of sound in the hot water. Now I'm going to change that speed. I'm going to decrease the speed by pouring in some coffee grains. Oh, it's not the grains that will make the difference. <laughs> it's the air that's attached to the grains. As soon as the grains dissolve, that air is released as little bubbles. And as a result, the speed of sound inside the water decreases and the frequency drops. Now the reasoning is that the air is a lot more squeezable than the liquid water. So by putting in a lot of air bubbles in there, the speed of sound decreases and you get a lower frequency as a result. Now if we waited several minutes, all that air would come up to the surface and the bubbles would pop open and we'd be back to the original frequency. And we're headed that way right now because most of the bubbles have come up to the top surface. Hey, great coffee. Thanks for watching. See you next time on the Flying Circus of Physics. Just remember, physics is everywhere, even in a cup of coffee.